Welcome back. We've reached the point in the Class A basketball season where the polls have started to level off and we're seeing the same names in the top five each week. The West Region regular season ends next Tuesday. Both Minot teams will play Bismarck Century. The boys and girls lost to the Patriots last time out. Now Century is still the popular pick in the girls poll. The Jets sitting at fourth. The only change is that West Fargo takes sole possession of fifth place as Bismarck Legacy now drops out. A tough week for Mandan creates some movement in the boys poll. The Braves lost to Williston and Bismarck High. Now that puts Fargo Davies one step ahead of Mandan. The Magicians are still in second place. Last night, Bishop Ryan senior Brady Feller became the third Lion to cross the 1500 point scoring mark. But there's a lot more to learn about your United Community Bank Athlete of the Week. There's a lot you need to know about Brady Feller. I've never really played with someone that talented before. His hoops game is great. He gets me a lot of assists. His pranks are priceless. Brady is probably the funniest person I know. And his hair? One of the most important things that people don't know about Brady is that he has a perm. Is a touchy subject. He's a cool dude, but he, he lies about his hair a lot. He does have a perm. <laughs> Brady always puts his friends first. A friendship's more important than a lot of things. When he transferred from our Redeemers in middle school. We wanted to convert our faith back to Catholic. The news took some by surprise. So I'd play against him, and then he ended up coming to Bishop Bryan, and we've played basketball together ever since. Now, Brady's in his fourth year starting varsity. He can score whenever he wants, and he's a super underrated defender. He knows how to play basketball. That's just truly how you can put it. And the comedy only complements his basketball credentials. On the court, sometimes he is, in the hallways, practice, just anywhere. But when the ball is in the air... As soon as the jump ball goes, I'm locked in, and I'm ready to go. It's all about buckets. There's, like, both sides to it. He can be funny, but he can also be serious and mean business. And that's all there is to it. In Minot, I'm Zach Keenan reporting for your news leader. Well, congratulations, Brady. He tells us he has plans for next year, but he's waiting to announce them. He'd also like to study cybersecurity. The Lions play at Beulah tomorrow. Starting tomorrow morning, the West Region's eight best boys hockey teams will compete for four spots at this year's state tournament. And all the games are here in Minot. Our two local teams, Minot and Botno Rugby, play the first quarterfinal game at 11 tomorrow morning, followed by three more games spread out across the day. All the games are played at Mesa Arena. Zach Keenan will have highlights on tomorrow's First News at 6 and 10. We'll be right back.